A dino sneeze, so loud, it shook the trees, uprooted plants, and sent one animal-style burger flying through the air. And there goes a toddler. And a pre-K kid? And a Jurassic diner? That's it. We're rebuilding. Stronger this time. Once upon a very, very long time ago, right after the rocks cooled and just before bedtime, there were two dino-loving siblings named NJ and Rose. Now, NJ was the planner always drawing blueprints on the stone walls. And Rose? She was the chef, flipping burnt fries and sizzling animal-style burgers before breakfast. Let's build a diner for our dinosaur friends. That's a great idea. We will have food for meat eaters, crayon needles, and dinos who like both. They would call it the Dino Diner, and they served meat-eating dinosaurs, also known as carnivores, as well as plant-eating dinos called herbivores. They even served both meat and plant-eating dinosaurs, known as omnivores. They built their first diner out of golden straw. NJ and Rose worked as a team bundling the straw and tying it tight with jungle vines. It was light and easy to step. Great for speed, but not for strength. And it even had a diner sign. Hot off the grill. Chompers, what is up? A loud, dusty sneeze blew the diner away. A nearby Triceratops, eyes watery and nose red, looked very sorry. NJ and Rose were sad, but the brother and sister duo remembered what Mom always said. Don't quit. Learn and try again. Strong with fire, what a sight. No big deal, we'll build it right. Next, they built the diner from strong jungle sticks. The siblings gathered the sticks and then snapped the sticks to size and hammered them in. Sticks were sturdier than straw and held their shape better, but still bent under pressure. It took longer, but the walls looked tougher. For Friday. Stego, food's ready. Same triceratops, bigger sneeze, bigger mess. Oh no, again? This time, NJ scratched his head. Rose sat down and thought. They picked up a piece of charcoal and started drawing on a big stone wall. Sticks were strong, but not enough. Time for rocks, but they real tough. After lots of thinking and sketching, Rose and NJ knew just what to do. They built the next dino diner out of stone. They rolled boulders together, stacked them with care, and checked each wall with a thumb test. Stone was heavy, 
solid and didn't budge even when the ground shook. The build took much longer and required a lot of muscle power, but the stone structure was tough enough to even take a dino sneeze. The Triceratops sneezed so hard, the ground shook like an earthquake. But the diner, still standing, still so have strong. We, we passed, passed the test. test. Team Dino, 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 Dino is the best. Dinosaurs lined up from the volcano to the river. They gave the food five glowing meteors for flavor, friendliness, and fantastic ferns. The poor dino still sneezing. We got to help. Let's call the professor. They called Professor Quantum, who was busy looking at all the cool stuff from NJ and Rose's last dino adventure. He gave them a top secret recipe called Rex Relief, a fizzy Jurassic juice that soothed the nose just right. They delivered it personally. After one tasty sip, the Triceratops was immediately relieved and very grateful. Many thanks, little ones. My nose feels all cozy now. Soon, the Dino Diner grew into a sprawling outdoor restaurant with adorable stone tables decorated with crystal quartz centerpieces. I got new plans to draw up. I just finished my molten pie dessert. And the best part? Whenever something went wrong, they remembered what they learned. Don't quit. Learn from it. Try again. Even if the sneeze is bigger than a brachiosaurus.